Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notifications when I post something new. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming and joining again. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and or any comments. I will also have a link in the description if you would like to buy me a coffee. This helps me with the cost of supplies to continue crafting and creating the things that I love and share with you. So today, this is just a project share video on something. We had a challenge in a Facebook group that uh, <clears throat> we needed to create for ourselves. And I usually don't keep the things that I make. I'm always swapping them and giving them out. And... YouTube or not YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, different groups. And so I'd never really keep anything for myself. So this was something that we were going to make and design in a pattern that goes along with our craft room. This is a craft caddy that I got from the tutorial, um, Tasha's craft corner. I'll leave the link below so you can get the measurements and make one yourself if you'd like. Um, I used black cardstock for mine because I just think the black makes things pop. I, I could have used pink or white, but I think it would have just kind of looked a little washed out. So this is a Prima paper pad that I used. It's called the Golden Coast. I got this a few years ago um, from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was reduced and I didn't pay full price for the paper pad, but I love it because it's it's coastal. It's It's got the pinks, like sand, and just, I, I really like how it looks. So in the video, she has this compartment where you glue it down and I decided to keep mine so that I can remove it just in case I want to fill this with more items and I didn't want to put this in there or something. I just, I didn't attach it. And then I went ahead and I matted and cause she shows where you decorate on the outside and you mat. Well, I also did the inside just because it's a black cardstock. I thought that it would brighten it up more and I would actually see the things that I have in there and not lose them. And then on the inside, I did the same thing here. Most of everyone, when they decorated, they just decorated the outside pockets and such. I decided to decorate inside also. It just brightens it up and I didn't do the inside pockets, obviously, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. I used, um, a few things from Happy Mail, some Prima flowers. So on this side, this is a um, flower, floral, like pick thing. I, I don't think it was a pick. I think it was just like a stem or something that I got from Michaels or Hobby Lobby on clearance. These were the Prima flowers. I put some lace with some like beaded trim on the top to jazz that up. I put a butterfly paper clip that I got in Happy Mail on this side just to kind of fancy it up a bit. And then I put a bow that I made from the Prima collection, the same paper pad that I decorated this with. It was just made out of the scrap pieces. I put a little tag flag thing underneath, another ba uh, butterfly I got in Happy Mail some instead of pink trim beaded trim this is like a creamy white and then i put this gold ruffled trim that i also got in happy mail this was a button that i cut the back off and glued on and it's supposed to be a like seashell and then i made tiny little rosettes put some scrap paper flags underneath some more of that pink lace trim with the pink um rough uh beaded um pearl trim and then these hearts i had gotten last year in a happy mail swap so i i figured the gold colors really looked good with this and then i did another prima flower on the handle with like these this dangle trim of just odds and ends of everything 
I believe I got some of this in a Happy Mail swap as like a dangle or something and I tore it apart and used it on this. Some more Prima flowers. This was a bag topper that I got in a Happy Mail swap that someone sent me and it had my name. So I thought, okay, I'm making it up for myself. I'm going to decorate it with my, my name. And then this is another um, button. This was in a Happy Mail swap and I just added that because it looked nice and yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, if you like this and you would like to make one yourself, like I said, I will get the link and post it in the description for you. And along with my buy me a coffee link. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.